Hi everyone, Miss Janine here, your grade 7 science teacher. For our today's science tutorial, we will discuss sound waves. Are you ready to learn with me? Let's start! Have you ever experienced attending a concert or a party? We hear a very loud music, right? The sound from instruments such as guitar, drums, and piano, and even the human voices get us energized. But how does sound were created? And how can those instruments produce such range of sound that is still pleasing to our ears? Sounds are longitudinal waves produced by vibrating bodies or matter that can travel in solid, liquid, or gas. Let us now answer this question. How does sound travel? To vibrate means to move back and forth. The sound produced by a vibrating tuning fork is due to the back and forth movement of its prongs. In this example, there is a movement which causes a vibration in the molecules and these molecules cause the other molecules around them to vibrate. This vibration from one molecule to the other helps sound to travel. The region where the particles are closer to one another is called the compression region, while the region where the particles are farther from one another is called the rarefaction region. Now that we've discussed how sound travel, let us now explain how do we hear sound. We hear sound through our ears. The ear has three main divisions, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. When sound wave strikes our ears, the column of air travels in the external auditory canal. This causes the eardrum to set into vibration. This vibration is transmitted to the middle ear. The three small bones in the middle ear control the amplitude of the vibrations transmitted to the inner ear. The semicircular canals in the inner ear controls balance and a liquid-filled tube called cochlea. This tube contains nerve endings that are acted upon by pressure changes in the fluid. When the pressure stimulates the auditory nerves, they carry nerve impulses to the brain that are then interpreted as sounds. Let us now proceed with the characteristics of sound waves. Pitch is the highness or lowness of sound. It depends on the number of vibrations per second, which is called the frequency of sound. The higher the frequency of a vibrating object, the higher the pitch of a sound emitted. The lower the frequency, the lower the pitch is. The human ear is capable of detecting frequencies between 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Infrasonic sound with frequencies below 20 Hz and ultrasonic sound with frequencies above 20,000 Hz are both inaudible. Some animals such as dogs, dolphins, and bats can hear these sounds. Intensity is the rate at which sound energy flows through a unit area while loudness is the magnitude of the sound perceived by the ear. As you can see, the greater the amplitude, the louder the sound is. Thus, more energy is needed for a louder sound. In general, the more intense the sound, the louder it seems. The loudness of sound is measured in volume, and to quantify volume, we use decibels. That's it! Let's have a quick recap! In this video, we discuss sounds, the production and transmission of sound, the anatomy of human ear, as well as the characteristics of sound waves, which are the following, pitch, frequency, intensity, and loudness. Now, let's try answering a 5-item quiz about sound waves. You have a minute to answer. Good luck!
Time's up! Let's check if your answers are correct. That's the end of our science tutorial. I hope that you've learned a lot and see you soon. Thank you for watching!